Hi guys, how you guys doing? Today is day six of things November. I finally get it wrong. Because I've been saying day seven. For some reason I'm pushing it. Even though we're going fast, but I'm pushing it. Um <clears throat> I want to dedicate this video to this girl. Um I will not mention her name due to privacy issues. But she watches these videos and you know it's about you, girl. I know I love you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful for you. God continue to bless you. God continue to provide. God continue to bless your family. Continue to provide for your family. Let financial wealth be upon you and your family. That you have good health and your family have good health. And may you be protected at all times in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But this girl blessed me a few years ago and I'm still keeping that blessing, guys. Now, what did she do? During that time, when I met her a few years ago, I was looking for a car. I was working two jobs, but I wanted to change one job because I was working my butt off just to pay a sitter and um, I was not making anything. And my other job, I was making so so, I was just getting, putting my toes in the water. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how I survived, but God had me. God had me. So, I went to change my, my, my job, and um, I was asking her, she knew another job, and like, she was working at one place, she was making, you know, you know, she was making money, and she was like, okay, you could go apply, and she was like, why do you need another job when you have, like, two jobs, and I basically told her, I want to change one, because I'm not making as much, and plus I'm on a car, now, I went through a winter where I was working, walking in the cold with my kids, and it was horrible, my kids already have minor health issues and then walking in the cold is just gonna make it worse so i didn't want to go through another winter doing that and um it would take me three hours or more to walk from one city to another city to pick up my kids and then walk back to the city i live in and i, I won't get back home until two in the morning and just to wake up around four or five to get to get ready and be at work in at six in the morning so it was just it wasn't nothing was adding up it was just it was i don't know how to explain it but it was just a, it was bad but god had me and i praise god for that so she knew so she said that she was also car shopping and she said she offered me her old car when she got her new car she'll give me her old car now again Again, I had to pay for the car, but the amount of money she was asking for, it was literally, guys, like a gift. Because the car was so cheap, and it was a good car. Toyota. A Toyota. A red Toyota car. She gave it to me. I'm going to put a picture of it at the end of the video. She gave it to me, guys. And the reason why I said she gave it to me, yes, I did make a payment, but the payment... And the amount she was asking for, was it was a gift. When I disclosed it with certain people, those are like, yo, that's a gift. And, I, and still, I could not pay in the full, even though it was so cheap. Um, it's because, again, when I was looking for the, the other second job, I didn't get it because of the hours they needed me to work. And that one job that was, was paying me okay, um, I love my clients. I didn't want to leave them. And plus, it was just... I had to work Sundays and it was just not convenient it wasn't it wasn't co coming together it wasn't connected so I did not take the other job even though it was offered to me and they were paying they were paying me so it didn't work out but she still said she was gonna give me the card for a certain amount of money and if I didn't have the money in full I could make payments and to the point I could tell you this much I was making a hundred dollar payment or a $20 payment on a car between me and her until I paid the car in full by the grace of God all by myself. Yes, she did work with me to pay the car in full and it took a while and, I'm, and I apologize that it took a while but God is good all the time. When I was making those payments um, sometimes they would take me off the schedule 
and sometimes um, it was one time at my job there was an investigation going on and they put me under the investigation guys me and it was a, a neglect investigation and um, the person that was at fault um, just took just name everybody under the bus like they put them all under the bus and the thing that happened why my but was a part of it is because my name was mentioned and I was on shift so they wanted to question everybody so everybody that was on shift when that incident happened you was being investigated you was basically suspended but the thing is if you if you are found guilty of whatever the investigation was go was about you're not gonna get paid but if you wasn't found guilty you're gonna get paid for those days that you missed thank God I was able to get paid because thank God there was another person that observed what was going on and said myself did what I had to do it was that other individual that put me in it so I was able to um, go back to work but that interfered in my money that interfered me paying car payment and there was other issues too and then fortunately I was able to get another job that was convenient that was working with me and at the time yes I love my clients I really do still today I love them but the stress of the job and my co-workers and my income it was it wasn't adding up so I put my hours down at that job and I ended up getting a new job and I was working in the nursing office in a, a, a elementary school so I was able to go into payments and then when I got my income tax I basically paid everything in full but the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because this girl blessed me she worked with me not not everybody would, wouldn't work with you. She blessed me with her car. She thought of me. There was other interests on her car, but she gave it to me. The people that was interested, she didn't give it to them. And God softened her heart, and she confidently gave me her keys and gave me her car. And still today, I'm able to go to church, go to work, go to school, go see my sister that is like four hours away, um, go um, to, I remember, you see this shirt? It says, make room, make room, make room. I think that's what it says, right? Make room, make room. Now, this, this sweatshirt, guys, this, wow, wow. Oh, Kiro Robahasha. This shirt, this sweatshirt, was the very first event I went to with that car when I got my car. The first thing I actually did was went to the laundry, but the first event that is a memory event was a Jonathan McReynolds concert, and I got this sweatshirt. Wow. You see how, wow, that, who? So this sweatshirt I got from one of my con one of the concerts I went to with my car. Um, it was in Phil um, it was in Philly, and I drove all the way to Philly, and um, I went to that concert, and it was because of her blessed me with that car, and I was able to drive down there. Now I I drove three hours away. I went to Indiana to Congress. Um, UPC Congress Kingdom. I think the this this way. The I had the the pass that I had when I went to Congress last year. It's I think it was called Kingdom Kingdom Come UPC. We went to Congress last year. Um, I drove my car 13 hours, 14 to 13 hours down there. I would never drive that far again, guys. But guess what? We took my car. We took my Toyota. Um, so I'm dedicating this video to her. I love you, girl, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for working with me, for me to um, pay you for that car. Um, 
not a lot of people would do that. Not a lot of people would do that. And God bless you. God really bless you. And thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping my family. Like I'm able to go to the laundry. I'm able to go to do groceries. I'm able to go to church. Um, go to work. Go to class. Um, go see my family. But I'm technically here by myself. <laughs> but um, this video is for you. You know who you are. I will make sure I share this on WhatsApp because I know you're going to click on it. And hopefully you watch the whole video and know I'm talking about you. I love you so much. And um, God bless you. Again, God bless your family. Thank you so much for the car. Um, and I ask... Know that I'm going to I'm gonna always pay it forward. I'm always going to bless somebody like you did. But continue to do that because you don't know how you're changing someone's life. And you don't know what you did for that person and for their children. You bless their children. You, you, you did something, some people may seem, oh, that's nothing. Or some people will say, you should have done, you should not have done that. But the fact that you did it, and the fact that I'm still reaping that blessing, know that you are highly favored. Know that God loves you. Know that God is walking with you. Know that you are financially blessed. You're financially blessed. You're highly favored. You're loved. You're virtuous. You are strong. You're brave. You're confident. Know that blessing is going to come to you left and right, up and down, side to side. Blessing is going to come your way. So thank you. I dedicate this video to you. I'm not going to say your name, but you know who you are. You know who gave me the red Toyota. Thank you so much. Have a blessed night, guys. Thank you.